Hey, everybody. Welcome to Test Chamber. I'm Kyle Hilliard, and I've got uh, Benjamin Reeves with me. How's it going, Kyle? And I have Wade Wojcik. Yes, and I we're am gonna here also. Yeah, we're gonna play Luminous City, which is a point and click game. Um, which Ben, you like you like point and click games, right? You like, sure do. Yeah, you like pointing and clicking on stuff, making it's, things happen. I love touching things, so I'm touching you. Oh, uh, that, yeah, that was kind of touch, weird. touch, touch, touch. I didn't want to bring that up, but uh, <laughs> is I mean, this annoying? Should I stop? I mean, it, it it's it's one of those things that just is there. I'm just kind of trying to ignore it as Certainly best as I can. There. Yeah. Well, so this is what an adventure game. Yeah, it's like it's a pretty straightforward uh, point and click adventure game. Um, which, and you'll see why it's special uh, in a minute here. I'm gonna do this first puzzle where I make tea. Oh, Kyle! And things are happening. What have you done? Uh, yeah. You well, actually, the wrong mug. It's not. It's nothing I did. Someone's taken my gramps. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh, is that ton tea? Just weighs a ton. Ton tea. That's why it, my favorite type Cro of tea. Crocodile ton tea. <laughs> I watched that movie recently. Yeah. Isn't that weird? It's a good movie. Holds up. Have you really? It, Did you it really? does not hold up. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just kidnapped your grandpa. Yep. So we got to go. Oh we got to get gosh. him. He left his book behind for me. Thanks, guy. The funny it, thing about this is this opening is is pretty cool. Like it's, you know, it, it kind of reminds me of device six a little bit. Yeah. And uh, But it actually, that. this is not how the rest of the game looks. And you'll, you'll see it in a minute. Or maybe up to three or four minutes. Although I would play a game like this. This is. Yeah. Like, Already, it's like you guys had something good going. Why did you I'll look at it later? Yeah, yeah look at it later. Yeah. Right which now. is probably for the best, actually. Which uh, again, we'll see why. Although I, so that's cool. They're incorporating sort of the like the, I don't know, credits into this opening sequence. Yeah, yeah, kind of like um, a movie. <laughs> I like, the, like the way a movie does opening credits. Have yeah. you guys seen movies? <laughs> <laughs> the art style is great. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, it's about nice. to get even better. Yeah. So you you might not even be able to tell already, but this stuff is um, this isn't like in game assets. Like this is real world stuff that they created. Like these are sets basically that they're placing this digital character into. Cool. I've solved this puzzle, so I'm kind of um, moving quickly. Okay. Well, you know, you could ask Ben or I what what we would do. Uh, in the situation, uh, I would. What would you guys there. do? I would put it right on that hook. <laughs> yeah. I would do exactly what you're doing right now. I'm trying to get to the pretty stuff because okay. this is this already looks pretty good, but it gets uh, it gets better real fast. Ooh, so you don't need that anymore. So they built a tiny set. I think I watched a trailer at one point where they yeah. showed how they're doing this. So and look then, at that. That's cool. Yeah, and then like just that. took a bunch of pictures. Apparently, yeah. Well, it's more than it's more than just photographs. It's like they actually had actual. Uh, cameras in place that they would they would move around um, like when you move scene to scene the camera actually pans to show you the whole city and it's just it's just really pretty and charming like they're not uh, state of play as a developer and they're not necessarily the first person to have done this like do you guys remember the neverhood that yeah. point and click like clay game that kind of did something similar but um, it's been a long time since we've seen what anything is going like this. on here Okay, so what would you guys do to unlock this lock <laughs> follow the arrows obviously there you go I guess yeah, they're smart Boop, boop. Oh. It's been oh, a cardboard. Could you have started in any other place? Uh, no, I think you have to start from that uh, from that one. But see, stuff like this, like where the camera pans around to show you everything, it's really, it's pretty. It's gorgeous. It's Almost pretty. like Toad Treasure Tracker. A little bit. Except you don't have, you don't really have camera control. You played Toad Treasure Tracker. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just mean how it rotates around the set like that. Sure. Or well, like that's, a that's bunch not, other games with rotating cameras. I don't know. There's not, um... You don't have any camera control at all, um, which is pretty, you know, par for the course of like point and click games. And this and this game is very much classic point and click. Collecting some lemons, make some lemonade. What yeah. what clues are you following right now to find your granddad? So um, you're just kind of you know that he's in Lumino City, which is where you're heading. You're like on the outskirts of the city right mm -hmm. now. So we're gonna try to get through this gate and eventually make our way to. To Gramps, the I'm wondering, handyman. I'm wondering why he was kidnapped. Was he developing a secret invention? Well, Wade, you have to complete the game Maybe to learn why he was kidnapped. Maybe stealing lemons. Stealing lemons. <laughs> so yeah, you get that nice little camera pan, the, the electricity went out. The depth of field is fantastic. Yeah, and there's a couple puzzles actually where you move, um, you know, into the foreground and the background where the yeah. where you kind of watch the, the focus change and that kind of thing. Are you a camera guy, Wade? I'm, I'm a little... Uh, Kind of a camera guy. Yeah. What kind of camera is this? Can you tell? <laughs> like, you know, um, I think it's a nice camera. Yeah. It's, probably. Oh, a nice brand. Yeah, nice brand. Yeah. The best. The they're best. Type it's of probably camera. a. It's probably a Canon. Yeah, they're pretty nice. Probably a Canon. <laughs> you can tell. So let's see. We'll make our way into the city. 
we gotta we gotta use these lemons that I collected. It's interesting that everything is essentially 3D except for you. Yeah, and uh, Reeves, you are actually watching me play this over yeah. my shoulder, and you kind of remarked that the characters almost seem out of place, yeah. which I I can I can kind of see because I they're... liked it in the opening sequence. Yeah, but now that we're here in this sort of model, like it feels a little weird. They're, yeah, they're like 2D sort of like flat characters. Um. Anyway. All right, so we got to use the lemons. Yep. And I found this in a book in the other room. Oh, okay. And so the X's are where you're not supposed to go? Yeah. Um, this actually, I think, would be a good time to look at the hint system um, because the hint tells you that you need to have uh, each lemon on a plus and a negative. Oh. Uh, so this is the manual that we would look at later. So what this is, uh, it's a it's a book left you left to you by your grandpa, and there are 900 pages. <laughs> um <laughs> And it like, and it looks like kind of like a mechanics manual, um, and you can you can look at every page to find the clues. Wow. But uh, the easier way to do this is to look at the table of contents, and you get um, uh, you get like these little math equations here. Okay. Um, and I actually, I think it actually skips the first. Uh, let's see. Do you see anything about lemons? Number of yeah, so I think it actually doesn't tell you how to solve this first puzzle. So that's one you have to kind of figure out on your this own. This is surprisingly intricate. Oh, wait. You know what? I remember how it works. Okay, so to kind of give you an idea that you have to use the book to look for clues, I think it tells you how to do it in this book. <laughs> There's a manual for how to read the manual? Yeah. yeah. See, okay. okay. Great. See this right here? This is kind of your clue here oh, that yeah. you have to have each lemon on a plus and a minus. Other great uses, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you can't take that book with you. No, you don't. Yeah, you, that book is that's its only purpose is to give you that clue, and it also oh. contains the little sheet of paper that I put over here. So. so, if you ever need to find clues like that, then they'll be in the environment. That yeah. You, so, uh, like, let's look at this again real quick. Um, so you'll see, like, I, like later I'll find a, a puzzle um, with mirrors, and there's like a I don't remember how many mirrors there are, but if you if you do that math equation, it'll tell you what page to go to. And then on that page, it'll have pretty much the solution. Like it's even, it goes a step further than just hints. It gives you pretty much the full solution. I gotta know math to play video games. Yep, you gotta you uh, gotta brush up on your order of operations. Oh boy, it's multiplication then addition, right? Uh, no, it's it's the parentheses, exponents, <laughs> uh, multiplication, uh, division, uh, addition, and subtraction. Wow. Please excuse my dear answer. Is it, oh, there there is a mnemonic device for it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So your grandpa was just a big fan of. Like circuit boards and stuff, and he, that's why he kept this well, he's, giant book. He's the handyman, so he kind of like lives in the city. Everyone, as you're looking for him, everybody knows who he is actually, because he would go and fix everything for everybody. Let's see here, yeah, I feel like there's one we're missing. There we go. I think that's everything. Because then, oh, there's one up there, up uh, top there. Ew. Look at that, that little plus. Let's see, what did I do wrong here? Kyle, you saw this before, right? I know, I did. This all is right. uh, all right. point Take and clicks it all are down. Fun. Take it. Get <laughs> start over. Get it out of there. Get rid of these freaking lemons. Okay. Well, the the upper right corner, you had that that uh, that positive that was. Oh no, the X's aren't positive. They're just what are they? Yeah. They're, well, the X's are just you ignore those. Are you pretty sure that's how you did it last time? Uh. Oh yeah. Here we go. Sorry if this is not interesting to watch. You're no, just, I'm just. I want to. I'm trying to it. solve it, Kyle. But you're moving too fast. So yeah, we'll put one there. Yes. There we go. That's this how it? we do that. Yep. That's how we do. There this you go. This is how we do it. One lemon to spare. So, that's right. You do have that one lemon on the right there. It's only on one. Ah, no. There there, there there Thank you. you. I solved it for you. Thanks, man. <laughs> you solved you it. Go. Power's back on. You couldn't find any wire to do that. Instead, you had to use lemons. That's yeah, right. That is a weird choice. I think uh, I think that's actually related to the developer. Like I think their last game uh, had lemons in it at some capacity. I'm not I'm not really sure. And we'll uh, we'll take that lemon with us. Or did I just leave it behind by mistake? There's you no click uh, you click your bag to. Yep. Okay. I got, you got the lemon. It. Yeah. And so that's your you, inventory system. Is you click your little bag. If you left that lemon behind, would you have been screwed? For uh, later later puzzle. Like? Yes. You know, without spoiling too much. But I don't think Ooh. it I don't think it lets you leave it behind. Would you meet up with the lemon beast? The lemon beast. <laughs> ah, the ferocious lemon beast. Who's that guy watching TV? Uh, oh he's just he guards the gate and he's doing a fantastic job. No answer. This is classic adventure game stuff where it seems like you have to go and click on everything and yeah. sort of slowly figure out what to do next. Yeah, yeah, very much so. I mean it's it really is mechanically it is straightforward point and click. 
Like, did you ever play? What was the one with the little robot? Oh, oh Machinarium. Yeah, I never finished Machinarium, but I did play it. See, there's one of those other and a nice little camera movement uh, coming into this yeah. area. Oh, who's that guy? He's a cat. Meow. <laughs> Meow? Like a question? No owl? Meow? Some peeps. <laughs> no owl, don't speak What's cat. all this commotion? Oh, there's a girl up on the barn store. <laughs> one meow. It's like, uh, <laughs> what's, what's that rap? What's going on? <laughs> Let's see. Here we go. This is how we get down. Oh, no. Whoop. Look at my worse. The music is yeah, subtle. I, I like it. It's kind of yeah. like Minecrafty, soothing, which is good because there are uh, moments in this game where you're just kind of staring at a puzzle, just trying to figure it out. Yeah. So here's oh, a, she's the crazy mayor. cat lady. Yeah, I think she's the mayor. My poor city. Well, we don't have to talk to you. <laughs> uh, I don't like to talk to old ladies either. Kind yeah. Of. Okay. So I got to get these cogs up here. And I think, let's see, how many cogs are there? One, two, three, four, five. I like six, this, Kyle. Eight. I like puzzles, so. Eight cogs. Eight cogs. This reminds me of something you'd find in a children's book, you know? Like, like you'd have to physically move them into place and get them to work. Yeah. So explain how this contents works. Okay. I'm yeah, not let's try this again. How so, you're going to find the puzzle that you're looking for. So, this, here's, here's the first puzzle here um, Number of number gears, of gears times, 10. times 10 plus 90. Or is that divided? I think that's plus. Um, and I've already forgotten so how many gears there were. There you had One, like two, eight or three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight cogs. So we can pull up the book. Uh, or gears, rather. So, so 80, 80 plus 90. Plus 90. What is One, that? 170. 170. Thank you. Wait. <laughs> and then we'll go to page one. Oh, I see what you're saying. So it's saying the number of gears you have plus. Okay. Oh, that wasn't the right answer. Was there? Are there more gears? Let me see. Maybe how many more gears. cogs? How many pegs on the wall are there? Uh, oh, let's see. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine. Okay, oh, okay. So, so, ni so 180. 180. Okay. Okay. There we go. So there you go. So then, like that, that is straight up the solution for how to do it. So it's it's a little, it's more than a hint, which um, I did rely on the book heavily by the time I made it to the end of the game. But, but at least uh, it's there. Yeah, I would much rather have that than just be totally stuck. And it know? doesn't it doesn't just flat out give it to you. You have to kind of figure it out. Yes, it is like a, it's like a little math puzzle uh, within a puzzle. Okay, so it's kind of like, well, I can't solve this puzzle, but maybe I can solve this other puzzle to get yeah. to the solution. Yes. There are there way. are That's um, kind of a cool idea actually. There are hints like I mean, you could play the game without ever looking at this book. Um, but it would be tough. Um, cuz the puzzles do get pretty hard. Well, I accept your challenge. <laughs> All right, Ben Reeves. Sarah, so we got two, four, and five. Okay, so that's why we miscounted there. Gear number three is serving no purpose. Yeah. Shut up, Wade. <laughs> that's a good point. Why did those even need to be there? Shut up, guys. There's <laughs> distractions, maybe. <laughs> yeah, like, for example, one of the... one of the um, I actually solved the puzzle uh, without looking at the book first. And I had like two, I think I had those two gears. Switch? Yeah, switched. And this this little green meter wasn't going up all the way. So that was kind of one of the ways that you could solve it without um, actually looking at the book. But uh, yeah, I mean, if you if you got really stuck and super frustrated, you could conceivably go through all 900 pages of that book and like Mark, it's like, okay, this is where that puzzle is, this is where that puzzle oh, is. Thanks so. That. So, yeah. Those ladies are just hanging out. So then we got, uh, yeah, so this is the next puzzle uh, where you got to kind of uh, rotate oh. the, the elements to get Oh, to them. match that little symbol? Yeah, to match the little symbol. Well, that's easy because then you just keep rotating. Unless yeah. does it rotate more than one at a time. No, I think I think it actually is pretty straightforward. Uh, let's see. We'll try to do this without looking at the book. Yeah, you got this. You can do every single puzzle you can look at the book. So Did I already screw up? Not that lemons one. That's true. Never mind. I'm a liar. I think this game would stress me out after a while. <laughs> yeah. Like the part the parts of Zelda games that Top are like one. this, I just like ah. Okay, so we need to get the uh Oh, I should have gone the other way. Cuz we want to get the green arrow at the top. Right? Do we do it? I think that's right. There's got to be something oh, here else we go. that's wrong maybe. Got to hit the button. Oh. Ah. Ooh. It's fancy. Well, you could already get down there. 
Yeah, but now you have uh, the stairs leading to this little platform up here. Oh, it's the perspective is hard to yeah. make out. Okay. I really like how this set looks like like a craft that a kid could put together. Yeah, I mean, and that's and that's because it literally is like this. This set exists somewhere in I don't know Cambridge, London, or wherever the studio is. Oh, really? Yeah. Like they built all this stuff. This isn't. This oh, isn't. Oh. Yeah. This that's isn't why built. It, that's why it looks so photo real. Yeah, because well, it because it is because <laughs> it's <on>. photographs. <laughs> I thought you meant well when you said that earlier. I thought you meant it was like digitally. No, like no, they put they put took together. photographs of these places and and uh, filmed the rotations and stuff like that's that. That's yeah. immensely so all impressive. that stuff. You yeah. can see like that's made out of an old camera. Yeah, it's yeah, probably a nice camera. <laughs> Canon, probably. <laughs> right. Yep, that is a Canon. And, that is uh, awesome. Yeah, that'd be the fun thing for me. Is like, oh, how did they make that? Like, what did they use to make that? Yeah, and yeah. I'm curious too. Like, what took longer? Like, actually making the set, or like you know putting the game together like with the like code and all that i don't know it's tough i guess i mean it, it's it really is like a straightforward point and click game but then they um the backgrounds are handmade right you know what i mean so instead of doing the oh, art these are background, handmade yeah they're hand did you not realize Wait, i thought you meant just digitally they're like, <laughs> handmade <laughs> digitally handmade digitally handmade well and so. this is the other question is like so what's the like is it faster to do like make them physically because i have to imagine probably not right i would i would think not but man it's really pretty yeah like but the it, game is stunning it makes this cool aesthetic and it's just i don't know there's something to the art and craft of it yeah that you have to admire that they went to all that trouble to like make this game yeah um this way and so like yeah i gotta give them props for that and i hope people buy it just for that reason alone yeah i i like i said it's it's uh it's a pretty standard point and click game but it really is kind of elevated to being something sort of creative and special just because it's uh because they literally put this stuff together with their hands and like hot glue you know mm -hmm. and yarn like my christmas presents <laughs> yeah let's see so is this interesting to watch you guys i'm i'm captivated i'm enthralled okay good it's enough for me it's enough um it's enough out of you guys <laughs> If if this, I think we have time for you yeah, for one more puzzle. Okay, this is it. Yeah, maybe we'll we'll call it. Maybe we can even call it quits. So you're trying to make yeah. all of the labels, or are you trying to? Yeah, we're trying. Oh, see, I've already screwed that up there. Um, I don't know what you were thinking there. <sighs> Sorry, apologies, everybody. <laughs> um, yeah, you're just trying to apply the labels uh, appropriately. Does it go like that? Oh, nope. I don't know, Cal. I don't know if this is the correct way to do this puzzle. Look, you know what I'm doing sometimes. What are these, by the way? These are uh, chemicals for like a, what's it called? A um, a room where you make photographs. <laughs> what is oh, that? Yeah, a dark yeah. room? A dark yeah, this room. Is a, a dark these room. are, oh, <laughs> reset my puzzle. Oh, boy. Cardboard box room. Uh, yeah, kids don't aren't going to know what that is. Uh, you know, a dark room anymore because it's all just in their phones and their computers. Yep. Future is now You've changed. All right, you, so I'm doing much better. There time. you go. <laughs> you got one. Got two. Kind of. This is how I should have done it in the first place. So that one right there, over on the left, would that go? Those have to fit to together, Kyle. Kyle, have you been in a dark room before? I don't think. Well, does this count? <laughs> You've been to my house. <laughs> you do. You do like to keep it dark. Yeah, I just don't have power. Yeah, it's you problem. should probably pay your bill or get some lemons. <laughs> I've been I've been plugging lemons into the wall sockets <laughs> for over a year now, and it just doesn't seem to take. So I don't know yeah. what my problem is. Your alarm clock is made from a potato. I don't know what's right. going on. I live in a grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're looking that good. Doesn't have power. You're looking good. What? Something's wrong. Kyle, there. I feel like okay. So that thing over there. What thing? The one on the second from the left. This one. The label you put up there. Shouldn't that go? Yeah, up that there? should go. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, okay. <laughs> now that tab. Try it out. Oh, See it out. Here yeah, okay. Here we, here we go. Here we go. Things are happening. Boom. All right. Bam. All right, now we can look at these here. We know we got to pour some stuff. There we go. Is that working? And, uh, Wait, I don't understand how you were. So that's the symbol uh, right there. See, they match. Okay. So now I got to pour that in and then the little black circle. The little black circle on that oh, one. Oh, okay. Pour in there and uh, yeah. How do you know how much to put? Uh, it just does it automatically. Oh, okay. That's it. Now you can develop so that's some how photos. You make photos. Yeah, and then um, and then this is kind of a more um, 
familiar like this is a very much a point and clicky puzzle where like changing out the lights um will you know change out two th like this button will change out uh, two different lights and this button will change only out one light and you can r remove the lock so things get tricky here so so you're trying to get it all red yeah which actually i you're almost there almost did. oh shoot Kyle. and who designed this room for a photographer this is very confusing <laughs> we can talk to this guy who designed the sun Oh okay, yeah, we can look at these books. Why doesn't the sun? Just oh, this actually, this light. would be a good note to end on because we can look at these books, which kind of show some of the behind-the-scenes stuff. Like you can Whoa. see some other photo. Like this is uh, areas that will appear later in the game. Oh, um, that looks so cool. Yeah, so it's like I created the game. Yeah, <laughs> when I look at these, I feel like I did it. Like you I did, did a do lot it, of Ben Reeves. Work. You're a hero, oh, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's my I, all out of my grocery store. <laughs> it's just like stuff I found in the trash, like little your grocery nice store home and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Props to whoever put these sets together and and photographed them. They look beautiful. Props to whoever put well, together these props. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, <I'm pretty laughs> like Thanks, Ben Reeves. <laughs> So yeah, so uh, Lumino City, uh, I think that's a good place uh, to end it. You got a good look at the game. It's really, really pretty. Um, if you like point and click games, I would, I would definitely recommend it. It's Please buy this game. game so I can turn my power back on. Yes, <laughs> Ben Reeves is it's Minnesota winner. Right. He is it's very freezing. Cold. Yeah, uh, we've all been giving him blankets. I need electricity. <laughs> okay. And, and lemons. Cool. Well, we, we're we're holding out for you, Ben. We're we're gonna right. do our best. All Thanks, right, guys. Thanks for watching.